my lovelies and welcome back to my channel <coughs> excuse me if you're new here then welcome my name is Sarah and for anyone that is not new here then thanks for coming back so today we're going to be doing not a full face of makeup dupes between drugstore and high-end but a decent amount uh, I've got a few products that I want to like test next to each other because I think they'll be good dupes um, but I was looking up and I thought, well, I love the subculture palette for ABH. I'm really addicted, but of course you can't get it anymore. I don't think anyway. And I thought, well, wouldn't it be like so amazing if I found a dupe? So I was googling subculture dupe on Google and the Beauty Bay Earthy palette came up. Now... Uh, I looked at the Beauty Bay one and honestly, I can see similarities, but I don't see any looking truly the same. So I'm going to swatch the shades that I think are the most similar to the shades that's in the ABH. So I'll do that off camera. And I'll be I'll come back and I'll show you what I think. Okay, so here are the gyps side by side. Now <laughs> I will say some shades the beauty one just doesn't have a gyp to it, like this shade here. So this is shade cube here from the subculture palette. And as you can see, it's got it's white with like pink reflexes on it. I really hope the camera's shown that. There was no drip to that at all in the Airfree palette. Then we have Dawn from subculture and I just put that against the shade snow but as you can see snow is a lot lighter this is more of a nude tone so that's not a dupe then we have destiny which is this green shade from subculture and I test out with the shade eucalyptus from the Effie palette they are quite similar then we have adorn from the ABH and I tested that against the shade legend they are similar but very different in tone. Then from the subculture palette we've got All Star. And I tested that against the shade Raw, which you can see very different in undertone. Not a dupe at all. Then we have Mercury from the ABH palette. And I put that against the shade Novel. Again, very different in tone. From the ABH palette we've got Axis. And I put that against the shade Seaweed, which you can see, again, very different tone, because this has got quite a bit of blue. From the ABH Roxy shade, I compared to that to the Squash shade from the Earthy palette, again, very different in tone. This shade here, called Electric, which I always found very unique. This one I'm really shocked on. I compared to the shade Ray, from the Earthy palette and honestly they are identical <laughs> which I'm actually really surprised on because I always felt that was like a really unique shade and Earthy has got that spot on so I'm actually kind of excited by that because that was that's my favourite shade of all the shades um then we tested Fudge against the shade Bait again very different tone this one New Wave from Subculture there was no drip to that from the Earthy palette. Then we've got Untamed, which is a screen, and I tested that against the shade Ivy. Somewhat similar, but not the same. Edge from Subculture, and I tested that against the shade Quicksand. Somewhat similar, but not the same. And then we have Rowdy from the ABH palette, and again, the Earthy palette did not have a shade for that. So this is what it looks like between them both. So yeah, I would not say honest out of total honesty that it's a dupe palette. Um, because a lot of the shades just aren't even remotely similar to the subculture. But I'm really shocked by that shimmer being pretty much identical <clears throat> because as I said, I always felt that, that was that's what made this palette unique. It's quite a unique shade. So 
the fact that PewDiePie has made it identical, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm, I'm excited because it means I've got a backup in a way, but I, I don't really like what PewDiePie have done, if I'm honest, because, well, it just doesn't seem kind of fair. I mean, it was the unique colour that ABH came out and they've completely copied it, it's the exact same. Doesn't look the exact same in the pan, but we, as soon as you swatch them, it is literally the exact same shade. Brows and pound my eyes off camera because I do not have any dupes for those products. I usually always do a green look when I do my subculture, but we need to play with some other colours from it because it just needs, it, it needs done. Okay, so we're going to start off with Dawn. And we're just going to go all over the lid. Now, this side is the subculture side. Go into the shade Snow from the Earthy palette, even though, honestly, these are so different in tone. But it's the closest one in this palette to this shade. So, just need to work it. Work it, baby, work it. Next, we're going to go into the shade Mercury from the Subculture palette, and I'm not even showing you. So the first one was Dawn, next is Mercury. I'm such a daft day. I'm just going to go into the crease. That is seriously pigmented. I was not expecting that pigment for a shade like this. I don't have a colour switch, but I do have cotton pads, so that tends to be, cotton pads tend to actually work really well for getting the colour off a eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with the shade, I'm going to go into the shade Novel, which is this one. And that's very pigmented as well, but honestly, I wouldn't say as pigmented because the one thing I'm noticing between these two palettes is the eyeshadow for, for the subculture palette spreads a lot further, so it blends better, if you ask me, than the Beauty Bay one. That's what I'm noticing anyway so far, and the difference is that. A little goes a long way with the subculture palette, it really spreads, but I, I feel like I'm having to do a wee bit more work to get these this shade to spread upwards on the eye, to make it even on both sides. Another thing I will say is <coughs> this shade is green tone, it's got a green undertone to it, whereas this is like full on, like a grey undertone. This is the shade Fudge from the Subculture palette. I'm going to go into that. I use them very often. But I do use them and they are beautiful. See just how well and beautiful that blended itself. I'm going to go into the shade Baked from this palette. Massive differences in the undertones of these shades for, for absolute sure. Adorn from Subculture. Who would like to see a project pan? <laughs> because I need to use this palette up from Subculture. I've never attempted to use an eyeshadow palette up. It's going to be hard because I get bored of the same palette. But this does need to be used up. So I'm wondering if people would like the odd video of me showing the progress of how well I'm doing with the, with the palette. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. 
Now for the Airfree palette, I'm going into the shade Legend. Where is it? There we go. do a wing and I'll be back. <clears throat> okay so I did a wing off camera because again didn't have an eyeliner that had a dupe to it so um, so of course we've got the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara but I want to test it against the volume side of this mascara from She Glam because when I was using the volume side of it I thought it kind of does remind me a wee bit of Too Faced so I want to compare and see if it's actually similar or if I just felt that it was but it's not actually similar now for this side with the she glam See the She Glam ones, um, the volume side of it does actually have a bit more lengthening effect to it than the Too Faced. The Too Faced one doesn't really have a lengthening effect, it's more just a volume mascara, which I, I usually like a mascara that gives length, but the Too Faced one does give a decent amount of length, but I, I prefer... Not prefer, sorry. But that it doesn't bother me that it's not really got like a lengthening effect to it. Because like how much volume it gives, it makes my eyelashes appear larger, <laughs> like it makes them appear longer. The She Glam wants to be a bit messier. <clears throat> Definitely it's got a lot more on the makeup side, so I need to wait for it to dry to be able to flake it off. I pruned my face off camera because I do not have a primer that is a drip to anything. I know you probably hear it a lot in the video but I did say at the beginning it's not like a full face of dupes. So of course I've got my Estee Lauder Double Wear foundation. It's in the shade 3N1 Ivory Beige. I've also got the W7 Legend Last and Wear Foundation in the shade Sand Beige. You can see there is a difference in shade. <laughs> Can't deny it. Um, I have tested these out between each other before, but I, I, honestly, I cannot remember the similarities of them. So we're going to do it again. And then of course, shades are different, guys, and I can't help that, but it's more about the overall finish. Early similar. So I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear, of course. W7 one is definitely a bit thicker than the Estee Lauder one. I'm actually struggling to get it out of the bottle. Shoot off the bat, like the consistency is definitely different. It's less runny, it's a little bit more thick. I would actually say it's more coverage <coughs> than the Estee Lauder. Somewhat similar in smell, actually. going to come down to does it look similar on the skin mm. if I'm totally honest and I'm not saying it because I'm biased because I like I love my Estee Lauder double wear and I'm also not saying it because it's expensive so it's like you have to prefer that one to the drugstore one because I certainly have preferred drugstore to high-end 
before. I actually think the finish of the AC Loader one is actually better. There is a difference in how it looks on the skin. The ST Loader one just looks a wee bit more hydrating on the skin, a bit more skin like. Um, it just looks, it's just got a better texture on the skin, if that makes sense. Whereas the W7 <coughs> one does look quite nice on the skin, but it's not the same. I'm just going to like pat it in a wee bit. Just to really pat it the skin. Dupe we've got, I don't know if it's really a dupe, but the consistencies of these concealers do remain to me at each other, so we're going to see. So obviously I've got, goat, goat, right, I've got the Soeva Authentic Skin Perfector Retouch Concealer, and I have this in the shade Heartfelt. Now, it is a bit too dark for me, Um, it looked like my shade when I bought it. But we're not paying attention to the shade, we're paying attention to like how it performs are these similar concealers. So of course, Soeva on this side, which is high end side. Definitely different in tone. <laughs> but the consistency of them both did it the the one I'm testing it against is the one called 17 Second Skin Enhancing Concealer in the shade 001Y. This is a um, Boots brand. I just felt that it just looked very similar in consistency and wanted to compare. But of course, different shades, remember guys, because... I'm a bit of a dafty when it comes to picking shade matches for myself. <laughs> um, the Suiva one's definitely more full coverage than the 17 one. But I will say the Suiva one looks a bit more creased than the 17 one. I wouldn't say they're dupes, to be honest, but they are kind of similar in consistency, I would say, but they're not dupes. So, I'm going to go off camera and brighten my under eyes, honestly, because this needs fixed. So, I just brightened my under eyes a little bit with this powder from my Catrice palette. Now, for setting the face. So, I want to put against my Soeva... What's this called? So we have a finishing powder up against the Red Cosmetics UHD Studio Finishing Mineral Powder because I think they'll be similar if I'm honest. I think I really think that they would be similar. So I want to put them to the test. Because they're both very, very thinly mild. So I really do see them being extremely similar. Yeah. Yeah, they look the exact same. They look the exact same. Contour, contour, contour. Um, so I've got, of course, my Morphe palette, which I know isn't like high-end, high-end, but it's not as affordable to some people as you would think it would be. Um, this is the Medium Fibes face palette. And of course I've got my Catrice, three steps to contour. Okay. So you've got your contour here, and I'm wondering if these contours will be similar. I mean, was it the contour I was trying to... Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to 
put them both to the test because I don't really have a contour that is similar other than that so we're going to test it out guys we're going to test it out so we're going in with the Morphe one on this side and Catrice on this side I think it's obviously like I prefer the Catrice one <laughs> Yeah, to trace all the way with that, that's not even remotely similar. So obviously for blush, we have this beautiful shimmery pink blush. And I feel that the shimmery blush from this Rude Cosmetics Courageous palette looks very similar. So we're going to test that out together. Morphe one on this side. Cosmetics palette. One from Mood Cosmetics does have a lot more glitter to it, but honestly the undertone is extremely similar. I will say though, this one has a bit more gold reflect to it than the Morphe one. But very similar, very similar. This is the finished result, guys. What do you think? Do you think it is remotely similar to each side? I think, you know, I was able to get the same look using the cheaper alternative products. Um, I do prefer my high-end makeup to my <laughs> drugstore makeup. I will say it, I'm not going to lie. Um, apart from, I do prefer my Catrice contour. To the contour shade in that Morphe palette. It's too orange. A contour shouldn't be orange. Um, but yeah, I, you can definitely get the same look from the cheaper alternatives, but I just prefer my high end makeup. But it's as simple <laughs> as that, it's the truth, I'm not gonna lie. I just, I mean. I definitely prefer my subculture to my Earthy palette, but I do like my Earthy palette, but it just doesn't compare. It doesn't compare. I'm sorry, it doesn't. No way. I wouldn't say it's a dupe, to be honest. I mean, you can get the same look, sort of, but yeah, I would not call it a dupe. Nope. If you like this video guys please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel because it would mean the world to me and i will see you in my next video guys bye